last topic for the day. Been uh, secretly avoiding this because I don't like talking about criminals, especially when their trials are still underway. But seems like this guy right now is pretty cooked, ladies and gentlemen. His name is Diddy. The Diddler. Whatever you call him. P. Diddy. Puff Daddy. So far, Mr. Diddy has been caught assaulting his girlfriend on camera, which was criminal, by the way. Which was disgusting, by the way. He's been accused of having inappropriate relationships with various people. I am being careful with my words here. There may be people who are watching this that don't know what I'm talking about. But if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you might want to scroll away from this section. You might be a little too young for this Diddy news. Diddy has also allegedly forced people to, par to participate, excuse me, forced people to participate in actions they did not want to participate in. He has drugged people and allegedly he has also contributed to the beatings and possible, um, I'll just say, harming of individuals. Using my words wisely here. Through the last couple weeks, this man has had his honorary Howard University degree taken away. He's had his key to New York taken away. He's been dropped by various businesses and business partners, and he has lost all of his respect if there was any for him in the first place. What is my reaction to that? As an HBCU student, as you can clearly see, did he getting his honorary degree from Howard University taken away? Now, trust and believe me, I am the last guy who wants to come up on here and, and talk about another black man in a demeaning way. Trust me. I'm the last guy that wants to do that. But, as a black man, as someone who is a member of an HBCU, as someone whose father and mother went to an HBCU and graduated, by the way, for you a and and Howard University, go ahead and look them up. Go ahead and look them up. You will find them. Trust me. We cannot... Stand for this kind of disgusting behavior. We cannot support that. The city of New York cannot support that. The businesses that were previously in business with Diddy cannot support that. We need to come out and publicly state what he's doing is wrong. Right? Everyone, everyone wants to try and, you know, they're going to try and say, oh, everyone's turning on him. And the answer is, yeah. Wouldn't you? Have you heard that your best friend was doing these actions? You wouldn't turn on them? Man, please. You would say, look, bro, I must I I, I have respect for you, cool, but I can't support these actions. That's exactly what all of these companies, all of these HBCUs, all of this education, all the cities, that's what people are saying. This man is going to be accused of high-level crimes. He's going to be found guilty, very likely found guilty of high-level crimes. And he is going to be in jail for the rest of his life. He's going to be in jail for the rest of his life. It reminds me a little bit of the Mr. Kelly situation, right? When he got caught doing what he did, he had to serve some time. Lost his respect, lost his honor. Everybody didn't want to be around him. It's the same thing happening here. And Diddy arguably has done things worse, right? This is the stuff we've uncovered, right? Imagine the stuff buried underground that no one else is going to find out. Again, I don't want to demean, but I would like to publicly come out and say, no HBCU student, no HBCU grad, no member of a city, nobody with a daughter or son, no mother, no father, no grandfather, no nobody can endorse these disgusting, decrepit, and awful actions. Nobody can. I'm sorry. Nobody can. I don't want to demean them, but that's just how I see it. Without further ado, thank you for watching. I'm going to end this video. I have a little uh, Spain documentary thing coming out soon when I was in Spain. You know, your boy's been traveling around the world, discovering, doing what I do, of course. That's why I had to take a little break. I was abroad for 10 days. I was like, uh, I was like, no, it was about, about maybe a month ago now. About maybe a month ago. I came back uh, well, a lot less than a month ago. I was there for 10 days, 11 days. But I'm here now. I got a little thing coming out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. But without further ado, I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching.